Welcome to World NG Channel. The largest icebreakers in the world are nuclear powered and are operated by Russia. The biggest of them, as of my last update, is the Arctica class. The lead ship of this class, also named Arctica, is a powerful vessel designed for the specific demands of navigating Arctic waters. Here are some of the operational aspects of this giant of the seas. Nuclear power, the Arctica class uses two nuclear reactors, typically RITEM 200 reactors in the latest ships, which give it the ability to operate independently of fuel supplies for long periods, potentially several years. Propulsion, these reactors feed power to three shafts with propellers, enabling the ship to break through ice up to 2.8 meters 9 feet thick. If needed, the Arctica can also ram thicker ice by backing up and charging into it. Displacement and size, the Arctica class icebreakers have a displacement of over 33,000 tons and are about 173 meters 568 feet in length, making them very large and heavy. This weight helps them to crush through the ice as they move. Hull design, the hull of a nuclear icebreaker like the Arctica is designed with a spoon-shaped bow which is specifically crafted to ride up onto the ice before breaking it. This design is crucial for the icebreaking process. Crew and capability, these icebreakers can house a significant crew and are designed to be self-sufficient to stay at sea for extended missions. They can also assist other vessels through the ice and are equipped for search and rescue operations in harsh environments. Dual acting ships, DAS, some icebreakers are designed to operate as dual acting ships, meaning they can break ice going forwards and in reverse. This is achieved by having a specially designed stern that allows for efficient ice breaking when the ship is operated in the backward direction. Environmental impact icebreakers like the Arctica class are designed with storage for nuclear waste and systems to minimize environmental impact, although there is always some level of concern when operating nuclear vessels. Operational strategies for these ships include constant monitoring of ice conditions using onboard equipment, satellite imagery, and other technologies to find the most optimal path through the ice. They also work closely with meteorologists and oceanographers to understand and predict the ice and weather patterns they will encounter. Operating an icebreaker ship involves various safety concerns, including the risk of damage from ice pressure the danger of ice accumulation on the vessel, and the need for reliable propulsion and steering gear. The pressure of the ice can crush the hull or cause damage to the ship's bottom, posing a significant threat. Ice accumulation on ships is another serious danger, potentially impacting the vessel's stability and maneuverability. Additionally, the reliability of the propulsion plant, steering gear and navigational equipment is crucial for safe operations in ice-covered waters. Furthermore, the creation of open water tracks and altered ice flows by icebreakers can pose risks to other vessels, and it's important to exercise caution around these areas. It's also essential for individuals venturing onto the ice to carry a personal safety kit and be aware of the potential hazards associated with icebreaking. Operating an icebreaker ship presents several challenges, including managing the vessel through thick ice, balancing between propulsion power and efficiency, and adapting to varying ice conditions. The extreme reliability of the propulsion units is crucial, as a lack of power can cause the ship to become stuck. Additionally, the need to repair and maintain aging icebreakers, such as the United States Coast Guard's Polar Star, poses significant challenges. Furthermore, the unique design and engineering of icebreakers, such as the use of azimuth propulsion units and bubble makers, require careful attention to detail and top-level quality to ensure effective operation in demanding conditions. The operation of icebreakers is essential to secure efficient and predictable marine transportation in ice-covered regions, and the challenges associated with their operation highlight the importance of ongoing maintenance and technological innovation in this field. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.